Hey guys, this is Matt with Hobby to Hustle. A uh, project that I wanted to talk to you about today is another project that I worked on during the quarantine times. If you haven't watched my, one of my other videos, uh, basically the gist is I worked on a quite a bit of woodworking projects during quarantine. We're still in quarantine. Um, I wanted to kind of bring you up to speed with what I did here and you know provide any kind of you know suggestions, some lessons learned, uh, things of that nature. So basically I was looking for uh, a quote unquote shed to hold all of my tools. Um, my girlfriend Kaya, she was pretty adamant that she didn't want this thing in the lanai, which is our back porch. Uh, so, you know, she ended up winning. Here it is in our garage. But the reason that she won is that when I went to go pick up one of my tools, a chainsaw, it leaked oil all over our brand new pavers. Um, so that was a, a huge disappointment. Didn't want that to continue happening in the future. So. Here we are with the shed storage uh, shelving unit here in the garage. So basically the gist of this design is I wanted something that would be able to fit my lawnmower, pressure washer, and wheelbarrow side by side. Um, and then, you know, have some, some adjustable shelving for some of my miscellaneous tools along with some open space for holding some of my other tools, uh, longer tools such as pole saws, weed whackers, edgers, rakes, things of that nature. So with the gist of this design is I ended up using, it's, it actually ended up being eight by eight, which is kind of convenient because as you are aware, plywood sheets come in four by eight. So that means that when this project is completely done, I'm gonna have a four by eight piece of plywood there four by eight piece of plywood there. Um, the intention is to have two doors cut out of each piece of plywood so that it's not a, a massively large door that you have to swing open when you wanna get a tool out. So there'll be four doors in total, um, and then the top will be plywooded in and the sides will be. So it'll be completely encased. It'll look more like a shed at that point. Um, I invite family over and they say, that's not really a shed, that's like a storage shelf um, and I would have to you know really agree at this point it looks like a storage shelf when it's done it will be boxed in like a shed just because aesthetically don't want to really have to see all this stuff um, and then I'll do some decorative trim and stuff like that so when I get to that point I'll be sure to upload a follow-up uh, video being that I didn't think to record this video before I actually did the design the future video for the doors and everything I'll actually do a uh, a live video of of the process and we'll walk through it as I'm doing it. So basically the uh, gist of this design, like I said, is a eight by eight, so it's a it's a square. Um, and what I wanna do, and it's some of my inspiration that I saw on Pinterest, because Pinterest is great for ideas, is this adju adjustable shelving. So basically what I did is I got, I built this whole thing out of two by fours, and then down here I have two by six. So. Fortunately, I live in a neighborhood where there's new construction and all these, all of this wood was being thrown out in the dumpsters. So, you know, I'll pick up one man's trash as another man's treasure. So it was my treasure. Um, use these two by sixes to basically create um, a shelf for each shelf to be able to slide onto. So it's kind of like a lip for the shelf to be able to sit on. Um, the idea was I didn't know what tools were gonna go on each shelf, so I wanted it to be adjustable. So as you can see, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five options to set the height. And currently I have three shelves. Basically that's just because that's all the plywood that I was able to find at the moment. Um, but I am putting some pretty heavy supplies on here. In the back there, there's a, a car jack stand, probably weighs 50 or 60 pounds. I mean, that thing is heavy maybe even more. Um, but these adjustable shelves are great because then you can cater it to whatever size tools you have. For example, in the very top, I keep my, uh, my, I'm losing the name of it, my compressor, sorry, my five gallon compressor. So I have a compressor with a nail gun. Um, I keep all that up at the top. So I keep my fasteners and stuff up there. Um, I got like a cedar up there and miscellaneous tools. I mean, I don't need to go through the whole list, but adjustable shelving here on the left on the right side and this is still kind of you know a work in progress just want to kind of give an update but i will give a further update in the future when i when i uh, put on all the doors and everything like that um, on the left side i wanted to have basically some hooks for electrical 
um, some miscellaneous screws to keep dust pans for my instance, um, rakes, metal rake, plastic rake, um, some screws for my, my edger and weed whacker attachment. And then on the bottom here, I got my chainsaw, my pole saw, a uh, sledgehammer, an ax, things of that nature. And also, if you haven't already noticed, beautiful artwork on both sides. So my girlfriend and I did a painting class and if we didn't have a place to put it, she wanted to throw it away. It ended up here. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions about this design, um, one more thing I wanted to, to add, I did anchor this into the wall. So being that there's a lot of weight on this shelf shed, um, I want to make sure that when I open up the doors, it wasn't going to come falling towards me. So if you're going to do something like this, I would highly suggest anchoring it into your wall. I used three screws and tapped into uh, the cement blocks on the backside. This thing's not going anywhere. Um, and really it works great and it keeps my garage tidier than it would be. Everything's kind of tucked into there. Took a couple of things out, but they'll be going back in there. Um, if you have any questions about this design or you know, if you want to spitball a couple of ideas, maybe some comments of things that you would have suggested to do better, it's not completely done yet. So I'm you know, very appreciative of comments, um, but please leave them in the comments below and I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.